What's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint, back with another statue unboxing and review. This time we have the Sideshow Collectibles X23, so stay tuned. All right, this is the X23 Premium Format. This is the exclusive version, which cost $590. They made 1,250 of these. They also made 2,500 of the regular edition, which cost 575. I'm excited to open this up. I first saw this at, I think, San Diego Comic Con. No, New York Comic Con last year. I pre ordered it during New York Comic Con, and a day before San Diego Comic Con, it's in the Gempire. We're going to open up, take a look at X23. We'll uh, bring out her companion piece, Wolverine, and uh, we'll do a review. All right, let's take a look at the art box. So you have some X-23 graphics on the side, X-Men logo on this uh, front face here. And you get a picture of the statue on the back. Nice looking art box. All right, let's open this bad boy up, see what we get inside. All right, first things, let's crack open this base. All right, we get the Sentinel hand looking. Oh, damn, look at this. I just vacuumed up here, too. Looking just like the Wolverine one, as far as paint and design. Damn. A lot of sour from everywhere. Here's the bottom of the base. I think it's really cool that we're gonna get both hands in like different positions and everything. All right, so that's that. Let's take a look at X-23's body. Oh, you gotta be careful, she got those claws on her feet there. And they're sharp. Let's take a nice look at the body here. So far, so good. Here's a piece of the base, like a tube coming out of the sentinel's hand. Here's another piece of the tube that wraps around her leg. Here are her arms. Now, you remember how I did the uh, mystique that he gave us? <laughs> Just gotta be very careful this time. pretty good the other arm no funny looking gunk in the claws that's good then we have her regular portrait for the collector's edition Let's see here. I don't know. What do you think? Looking a little bit cross-eyed? Her teeth and lips look pretty good. The hair looks good flowing upward. And lastly, the exclusive portrait. Like her X-Force looking mask. I guess it is her X-Force mask. This one, you have those redded out eyes, so you don't have that cross-eyed problem. The mouth looks good, how they got the teeth and the molars and everything up in there. And again, the hair looks good. All right, let's clean up this mess and get her together. 
All right, guys, had to bust out the dust buster, gets all that styrofoam snowies off the table, and we're ready to assemble X23. You know what's funny? I don't, I don't like to blow the pieces off these statues. It, it always reminds me of uh, Joe Project from Statue Review. Man, when are you going to come back to the game, player? Cool. So we got the basin, this piece of Sentinel fits in there like so. Looking real good. Let's get X23 in. Where does she even peg in? Oh, on her. You guys remember Joe Project, man? Give him a shout out in the comments below, man. And the Kato Kid. All right, now that we got. She keeps sticking. Now that we got her in, we put this one that wraps around her leg. Key is really easy to find. Let's get these arms in place. Like, boom. Like, bam. All right, all right. And let's go with the collector's version first. Dang, that's looking good, y'all. Looking real good. All right, got in real tight now on X-23. X-23 first appeared in 2004, so she's kind of a newer uh, character. She appeared in the miniseries NYX in issue number three. Uh, she was created by the dynamic duo Kyle and Yost, that is Craig Kyle, Christopher Yost, who are also responsible for like the black and white X-Force team. Awesome uh, duo right there. I love their stuff. We need an omnibus for that run too, Marvel, by the way. X-23, her name is Laura Kenny, and she is a clone and the adoptive daughter of Wolverine, which, you know, a lot of characters get flack for, like, being re-imaged with a different gender, a different race, but I feel like uh, X-23 and Miles Morales are, like, two that kind of get a pass as, like, the earlier ones, and they're still likable characters, X-23 actually became Wolverine during uh, the death of Wolverine, where he was gone. Was it for a year or it was a couple years, maybe? And she actually had an ongoing title called All New Wolverine. The one thing about this piece I was a little disappointed with is that they didn't give her like a Wolverine mask as, a, as an option here. I think that would have been a really nice touch. Instead, we do get this exclusive portrait, which has kind of like a Robin, Batman and Robin type mask. Which is also, I believe, from that X Force run, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. There, this one has kind of uh, more tendrils of hair. You got to be careful. But you know what? We'll we'll take a look at that exclusive portrait when we get to that part of the review. First off, let's talk about the base. I think that they one upped the Wolverine Sentinel base with this hand by making it stand up higher. Uh, has more rocks floating around it, like it's busting through. They gave it this coil coming out of its palm and. The only problem with this, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell whether she's coming or going. Is she falling down or is she jumping up? I'm assuming she's coming down because her hair is up, right? But I, as far as the base goes, I think they one upped it. We're gonna pull Wolverine out here to compare, but I do feel like the blue on my X23 is not as vibrant as my Wolverine. So we'll take a look, and that could just be the luck of the draw. But the sculpt, it has a lot going on, a lot of battle damage. It does have weathering on it, like in the palm and um, throughout the fingers there. The inside looks cool, very mechanical. The coil looks good, but I don't know if I just did it wrong, but it looks like it has a pretty, pretty bad seam where it keys in here. I always say that during these reviews and then I fix it off camera. So let me see if I can get it fixed right now. No, I don't, I don't think so. Anyway, looking at Laura, 
I don't see a huge difference from the prototype that we've seen at uh, New York Comic Con compared to this. I think it looks right up there, except for maybe the exception of her eyes that, that we'll get to. But, I mean, as far as, like, her boots and the weathering on the boots... Uh, Laura, unlike Wolverine, has two claws on her fists and then one, one claw that retracts out of each foot. And the claws are very sharp. They're metal claws. And they're in there good. They're not like my Mystique that had jacked up looking glue or anything. A lot of nice different textures on the pants there. You have the black has a certain leathery texture to it. And then you have the yellow that has like this kind of, I don't know if you want to call it a honeycomb. That's not really honeycomb. It's just a different kind of uh, design. Sculpt is awesome. I mean, the figure looks great. I mean, she got the Janet Jackson washboard abs going on. And the sculpt of it really gives it some nice shadowing. I hope you guys could pick it up in the camera. I can't even tell if it has painted shadowing. It, it almost looks like it doesn't in that the sculpt is doing all the work. The paint looks a little bit one color, but those abs and, and the indentations really give it the shadow look. Similar design on the on the top she's got on there. The hands look good. I showed you guys when I was taking out the pieces. There was no goo or gunk and the claws were in there good. The portrait looks really good. They kind of have a little bit of rosiness on the cheeks to kind of offset her skin tone. I think her teeth look really good and the mouth looks good. Uh, I do kind of think the eyes look a little bit cross-eyed here. I mean, they're all right. It's not like extremely noticeable like now that I'm looking at it I can't really tell but if I zoomed in I'm sure people will make memes out of it with a quickness everyone all the sideshow haters look at sideshow we'll have to call a Tim out there to to play bodyguard uh, let's put on the exclusive portrait which to be honest I didn't really think I was gonna rock the exclusive I was like eh, it's kind of the same thing just with that little mask but you know, her mouth is, is open more. She's more fierce looking with the with the exclusive portrait. And I really think they did a great job on like the gloss on the lips and the tongue and the gums and everything. I think it looks really good. It's a great piece, but I think what makes it even better is making it a companion with Wolverine. So let's get the Ulka knucklehead out here. Alright guys, this is what it's all about right here. Man, together, it just makes them look so much better. They just complement each other so well. Looking at Wolverine, like I, I was mentioning before, I thought that his base looked a little bit more vibrant. And I think maybe just a tad bit, a little teeny bit, he has a little bit of a bluier blue. But he also has some of that washed out color near the palm as well. But like I said, now you can see side by side. I remember looking at New York Comic Con like, damn, they really got me with this X-23 because they won up the hand. I mean, this one has the severed um, thumb. But the way that they just got hers raised up more and has like the floating rock effect on it and the tendril and everything and incorporated it more with the base, they just really killed it with that. Man. So X-23, guys, she's finally here. Great companion piece to Wolverine, as you can see. Let me know what you guys think about X-23 in the comments below. Drop that like on the way out. And make sure you subscribe to the channel for more daily content. I'm dropping this, and we're flying out to San Diego Comic-Con, the 50th anniversary. You know we're going to do a statue tour. We're going to try to do like a, a bomb-ass cosplay video, and we'll see what else we get into out there, man. So you guys make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, get all that San Diego coverage, and stay minty fresh. Peace.